Hey, Frank, so this is a very densely populated area, Carolina Beach. A lot of people recently have moved here. 6,000 people in this very small city and town, and there are dozens like it all along the coast. And so now all of the evacuation orders are strictly enforced. There's a 24-hour curfew, and so we're not allowed, and the police don't want anybody on the beach. But I'll have you take a look and watch as the winds are making the waves a lot higher. Uh, you could see how it's a ghost town out here. But the waves themselves have gotten a lot bigger. Uh, no flooding yet where we are. Further north, I know that we've seen some of that, but no flooding yet. We know that this storm and the biggest impact of the storm is expected to be the water over a couple of days. You've been talking about this. And locally, all of the local news stations and the national stations, a lot of them, they mention Harvey when they try to explain to people how serious this could be and why the impact itself or the one impact, the shorter impact is not really the story. It's a couple of days of the rain and the wind and just stalling out along the coast. And so we've talked to a lot of people who say that they're staying. We've talked to a lot of people who say that they're going. The mayor here is most concerned about the thousand or so people who have stayed in this one small town because the entire area is sea level and the uh, storm surge is expected to be 13 feet, so double my height. Uh, thousands of structures, the governor said, are expected to flood. So we're able to be out here because the, uh, the outer bends, they're on and off, but the, the winds are only tropical storm force gusts, if that. Later on, we'll have to move. You'll notice up there, you'll see some of the lights. There are other uh, national news crews up there. That's where we'll be later on tonight when the storm is hitting hardest and tomorrow morning. Uh, because we won't be able to be out here standing, we think. Uh, but that's the latest from here, and we'll, be, we'll continue to track this thing as it moves through. Reporting live from Carolina Beach, I'm Jacob Rascone.